Right here, right okay. where it, and okay. then just cut straight across. Okay. We're gonna get a zigzag on this edge to prevent it from raveling, falling apart. We're just going to go right on the edge. Right now it doesn't matter what color thread I'm using because this isn't going to show. I'm just using what I got on my machine. This could also be done by hand with an eyelet stitch. So it's inside out, so now I'm going to try it on inside out so we can tell if it's going to fit or how we want it to fit. I turn my thing the wrong way. So now it's on. It's on her leg. So do you want it? I only need it a little bit tighter right up here. Okay. So she's just going to pin it a couple places and then I'm going to pull it off and we'll just sew that edge. And then we're going to cut off the extra. Mm. Browns and blacks. And, no, grays. Grays. Sorry. Yeah. Gray, white, black, but it looks like navy blue. She's got green and blue and brown, red, purple, pinks, and yellow and oranges. <laughs> oh, and bobbins. Oh, bobbins. All different color bobbins. I don't find black bobbins. And we change the pins the other direction because you can't sew over a pin laying long ways. The machine won't like that. So if you haven't had as much experience as my mom, you can use a marking pen before you move the pins and mark your line that you're going to sew along. Use a stretch stitch and it's going to let the fabric stretch. This is a knit. Use a straight stitch. It's going to, the stitches it's are going to break. And, yeah. It's going to break. What I'll probably do with this, because it is wants to ravel, fall apart, probably will do a zigzag on the edge yet here. Otherwise, it'd be plenty bulky. So she measured around my leg, so we know about how much elastic to use, and um, she's gonna cut that to the right size, and then she's gonna make a casing with the top. She's just gonna fold it over and make like a pocket to fit around it, and then put the elastic like this in. And then yeah. the elastic will go. It'll fit right, right in, in there. Here. So. so it won't be sewn in place. I didn't. But it'll be in there so that it doesn't fall down. Okay. Okay, to do a casing, you turn the top over, and I just zigzagged here, but I, as I went along, I left an opening so that I can put the elastic in here now. And I'm going to use what is called a bodkin. And you hook this on to the elastic. The bodkin hangs on to the elastic. Cool. So you can put it through. And if you don't have one of those, you can use a safety pin. Pin right. the elastic and pull it through. Or through. There's a couple different ways you can secure the elastic. You can sew it, but most sewing machines don't work very good. So you can either safety pin it or tie a knot in it if it's tiny elastic. And you're going to complete your what you started sewing. This is where I stopped sewing before.
that's where I started before. So now we're, casing is totally closed. The elastic's not going to get away. Okay. Yay! Okay, let me get this other one done. <laughs> I love it. I haven't had leg warmers in <laughs> a, a little while. Cat and leg warmers all out of a $3 sweater. Yay!